Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and we have a really cool shotgun to take a look at today out of the Bear Arms Reference Collection in Scottsdale, Arizona. Now, there are some people who think that tactical, high-capacity, optically sighted firearms are a new and modern thing. Well, not necessarily. There are things that have been around longer than many people think, and this shotgun is a perfect example of it. So this is a gun that was set up and owned, and presumably used, by a Tucson City police officer in the 1940s and 1950s uh, when he passed away. His family brought it into Bear Arms, where it became part of their reference collection, because it is in fact a fantastic example of 1940s tactical shotgun that I think would make anyone today uh, looking for a tactical shotgun quite happy. So um, what we have here is fundamentally a Remington Model 11. It probably originated as a Model 11 sporting gun, because the receiver serial number and the barrel serial numbers don't match. The barrel is an 11R barrel, which was uh, Remington's code for their riot gun. Their short barrel, or short, short-ish, 20-inch uh, cylinder bore barrel with a bead sight on it. Uh, it then has a magazine extension, and coolest of all, it has a ref an optical reflex sight from the 1940s. Let me show you up close. I'm going to make you wait a moment to take a look at that optical sight. Uh, let's start at the front end first. We have a two-round uh, magazine tube extension. This is manufactured by a, a guy uh, named Bert S. Parsons, who uh, patented his first magazine extension in 1912, and then uh, patented a second one in 1928, which was like this, but you could actually screw two of them together. So if you had a long-barreled gun with a short factory magazine tube, you could actually get a plus four extension on it. This holds two. The original magazine held five, so this gives you a total capacity of seven rounds in the magazine tube. I mentioned earlier this is a, an 11R uh, riot gun barrel. There's that marking on the barrel. We have a serial number on the gun that dates it to, I believe, 1915. So this is really a fairly early production uh, Remington Model 11. And it has uh, some of the early features, like a safety here in the trigger guard. Perhaps not by today's standards the ideal style of safety, especially for a, a tactical gun, but that's what was available at the time. One of the other limitations of the Remington 11 uh, in a modern tactical sense is in order to load it you actually have to hold the shell release button down in order to lift that up. So uh, on the Browning Auto 5s, which are essentially the same gun, just not made under license by Remington, uh, they, they later developed a, a lifter that you could always load shells in without having to depress that button. All right, but definitely the most interesting, the coolest part, and the most unique and rare part of this ensemble is the NIDAR Model 47 reflex sight here. So first off, I want to point out that this isn't quite mounted perfectly. There's some gap in here. Uh, when this gun came into the collection here, it was drilled and tapped for this NIDAR, but the, the NIDAR wasn't actually on it. It had been separated a long time ago. So um, the owner here put a NIDAR on it. NIDARs all had to be uh, individually hand-fitted to guns, and so this one mostly fits because the, the mounting pattern is correct and proprietary to the NIDAR, but he didn't want to go modifying either the sight or the gun, so that's why it doesn't quite fit snug down. But technically speaking, the NIDAR is a reflex sight, so that is actually your aiming reticle, and it uses ambient light to reflect that up into the lens here. It's pretty faint, but you can see that white circle and dot on the wall back there. In fact, you can also see sort of the edge of the prism as well, if I move that sight, that, that uh, reticle, up towards the edge of the window. This is a sighting system that was developed from actual aircraft gunners' sights from World War II. They used this exact style of uh, optical sight for things like fighter aircraft sights and uh, bomber turret sights. And what the NIDAR company did uh, just after the war is scale this down and turn it into a patented shotgun sight. Uh, the original intent was for shooting birds and clay pigeons, uh, moving targets, uh, essentially the exact same practical uses that we have for red dot sights on shotguns today. 
And of course there were some people, like our Tucson PD officer here, who recognized the practical uses of this on a fighting combat shotgun. Again, both eyes open, wide field of view, um, and easy rapid target acquisition. This was truly quite a lot of firepower. I mean it still is quite a lot of firepower even today, but in the 1940s, 1950s this was truly a cutting edge, uh, very modern piece of, uh, well, a street howitzer as they say. I kind of hate to give some standing to the video game trope of red dot sights on everything back a hundred years, but the NIDAR was in fact an optical sight that was available in the 1940s and functioned, and as you can see here, was actually put to use by some forward thinking, tactically minded, uh, well in this case law enforcement officers. So. Uh, a big thanks to Bear Arms for giving me access to pull this out of their reference collection to show you. I think it's just a tremendously cool gun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.